Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And as a part of uh, this video, we will try to understand whether the OS process is applicable in case if the test results are out of the specification while conducting the process validation. Now, if you look at the UK MHRA's presentation on the OS investigation, you will find a very important uh, point and uh, that you can see on the screen right now that the OS process is not applicable for studies conducted at variable parameters to check the impact of drip example process validation at variable parameters. So what this mean? Does this mean the MHRA does not propose the investigation of uh, out of the spec result observed during variable parameters while conducting the process validation. Of course, the investigation is needed and uh, you can conduct the investigation maybe by using deviation or lab incident process. However, the as there is no mention about uh, the out of specification result found during process validation by using optimized process. In case if you come across the OS result with optimized process parameter, obviously the OS procedure is need. I mean the OS procedure needs to be applied for conducting an investigation to identify the root cause. So this is the reference I got from the UK MHRA's presentation. Now when I uh, refer the US FDA's uh, guidance document on OS. US FDA has, uh, according to my knowledge, US FDA has not mentioned about same point which is mentioned by the MHRA. As you remember, that MHRA said that the investigation may not be required according to the OS process for the out of the spec result found with the variable parameters. I am talking about the process validation. But there is no mention such variable parameters the whether the result has to be investigated by OS process or by any another mean in the US FDA's guidance document. I only found one reference in the US FDA's guidance document and that is highlighted over here. So the current good manufacturing practice for APIs include the performance of scientifically sound raw material testing in process monitoring, release and stability testing, process validation, and adequate investigations of any OS result obtained from such testing. Means as we are talking about the process validation. So any OS result obtained during process validation study needs to be investigated. Now there could be again two situations. As per the optimized parameters, then yes, I think the OS process is must. But in case if uh, the out of the spec result is for variable parameters, still we need to use the OS process or can you use the lab incident or deviation process that clarity is not given in the US FDA's guideline. The, then the final question could be then how one can deal with such a situation if the out of spec result is observed for variable parameters shall we go with the OS process or shall we go with the another QMS process. According to MHRA it is very clear that you need not to investigate the out of the spec result by OS process. So you can think of having, uh, uh, adopting the alternative processes like deviations or lab incident. But as there is no clear cut guidance available on the same point in US FDA's guidance document. And to be on safer side, I think it is always advisable to investigate the uh, out of the spec result irrespective of whether it is an optimized parameter or variable parameter by following the OS process. Let me know what your company follows and uh, let me also know what is your opinion on this particular point. You can put your point in the comment below. Thank you so much.